Good morning everyone. Practicing stretching every day, I discovered that a lot of exercises you can do easily as a morning stretch, not even going out of your bed. And I made a list of 30 exercises that you can practice in bed and I want to share it with you. Make a few movements with the hands up and down, up and down through the sides. And then hold one hand with the other one and pull a little bit up. With this movement you pull the spine up as well. Then interlace your fingers and stretch yourself up a little bit more. You can do some small twists. Uh, it will warm up and wake up your body. Interlace your fingers behind the back and bend your head towards the bed. Then bend the left elbow and pull the right hand towards the left. It's a small twist. And then do the same for the other hand. Put your right hand on the left knee and make a small twist towards the left. It's a twist of the upper body that releases your spine as well. Then repeat the same twist for the other side. The next one is the frog pose. Uh, bend your knees and lay down on the bed. You can lay down with your belly on the bed and relax for a few minutes. It's a great hip opening exercise and really good to stretch and open the hips in the morning. Take your time and stretch as long as you feel like, as your body needs. A happy baby pose lay down on your back bend your knees and take your feet with your hands uh, pushing a little bit knees towards the bed it's uh, the another hip opening exercise you can stretch one leg then another leg or both legs it's a stretching for hamstrings so as opening for the hips then bend your right leg and put the left foot on the right knee. Place your hands under the right knee and it's a great hip opening exercise for your left hip. And then if you feel like you can stretch the right leg and you will have a light stretch for your hamstrings of the right leg. It's a great exercise for both hip and hamstrings. And then repeat it for the other leg. Sit in the butterfly and Try to lay down in front with your hands in front, but the most important that you keep your back straight. If your back is not straight, don't lay down in front, just bend as much as you can, but keeping the back straight. With the time, you will lay down. Here you open your hips and have a good back stretch. The next exercise is a straddle. Sit on the bed with your legs wide apart and again try to lay down in front with your belly on the bed. The, but the most important is to keep your back straight. This is another good exercise for opening your hips and stretching your back. You can take your time and relax a few minutes in this position. Sit with your legs crossed and make some wave-like movements with your spine, with your back, round your back and then make circles. It's a great way to warm up and wake up for the spine and for the whole body. Change the directions. Then sit with your hands to the back and open the chest. Do it a few times. Sit in your tabletop position and round your back. Make some wavy movements. Then release your spine. It's like a cat cow. And then you also start moving your shoulders and then your hips and all the joints will start moving together with the spine. 
do it a few times as many times as you feel like Interlace your fingers behind your back and then lean towards the bed. It will open your shoulders and you will feel a light back stretch. And then put your hands in front, opening your shoulders a little bit more. And as a good twist for your spine, your left hand is above your head and the right hand with the right shoulder are on the bed. It's a great twist for a spine. You will feel how it starts moving. Then repeat the same uh, position for another hand. Lay on your back, uh, your knees go to the right and your head goes to the left, the spine twists and then repeat it to the other side, your head goes to the right and your knees go to the left. You can interlace your uh, knee with, your, with the leg and repeat it for another leg again. Warm up your neck, pulling the right ear to the left, left ear to the right, make some light movements, light turns to the right, to the left, so that your neck warms up as well. It's so easy to stretch your neck muscles. Some twists for the upper body and upper spine and then stretching your hands up and pulling one with one hand another. It's a good stretch for the side, right side of the body and the left side of the body. And a few more twists for the upper spine. Sit with your legs straight in front and bend from your hips towards the feet. The back in this position should be straight. If you cannot lean down with all your body towards the knees, it doesn't matter. Just keep your back straight and you feel this relaxation and light stretch. Then bend the left knee and lean towards the right foot then to the center and to the left knee. You will feel the stretch with the back, with the side of the body. When you bend to front, the back should be straight again. And then repeat for the other leg. Bend the right knee and lean towards the straight left leg to the center and to the right knee. Sit on your hip bones and kind of interlace your legs in front. Put one knee on the other one. You should be sitting on your hip bones. 
this is a bit strange position at least it was for me in the beginning but it's a great hip opening sit in this position for a while and then switch the legs Lay down on your back and put your legs in a butterfly pose and relax. You can also rotate your hip joints, rotate the legs from the hip and it will really make your joints moving. Warm up your fingers, warm up your palms, pulling your palm up and down, right hand and left hand. And then take your elbows with your hands and pull a little bit and it will open your uh, shoulders and then open your shoulders even a little bit more You can vary those exercises or just use them as a guidance and I wish you have a good day and a good stretch.